Over the next few minutes, I want to talk to you about what we added to version 1.5.2. Before we do that, I want to open with a simple question. What are your favorite groups? And we all have favorite groups. I'm not sure what type of music you're into. Jazz, pop, R&B, disco, funk. I don't know. We all have our favorite groups. Um, well, regardless of what type of groups you're into, and even not even musical groups, you may have a local chess club or a group of people you hang out with. Regardless of what your favorite groups are, I think one of your top and most favorite groups is going to be what I'm showing you right here over the next few minutes. And of course, we're talking about using groups within SketchWow. Now, this is nothing new. We've had the ability to group elements and group images and text just to make it easier to navigate around the canvas. This has been around for a long time. However, in this update, it's a bit different than most updates where we're not just adding new features. Sometimes we gotta roll back a little bit and really fine tune and refine and improve upon some of the existing features in the software. And that's exactly what we did here. So let me take you through this quick demo on how we really enhanced the groups functionality in SketchWow. And this will really make your life easier in a few different scenarios as I'm gonna show you here over the next few minutes. The first scenario is when using templates. Now there's a lot of templates included in SketchWow as you may know. And some of these templates are quite involved. There's multiple layers, there's multiple use of different types of fonts and text and images. And I got to admit, sometimes when you get into the weeds with these templates, making massive changes can kind of paint you into a corner. And I'll show you what I mean here. So suppose that you want to change some of the text on this marketing funnel template. Um, some of these are actually grouped items. So if I go and I right click, you'll see here I can ungroup them. But if it's a grouped item, I mean, it makes it easy to move things around, right? That's, that's no problem. However, when you get into trouble is if you just go and try to modify the font of these grouped um, elements here, you'll see what happens. I'm going to go and click on another font here. Let's say, for example, do comic. And you see how it changes everything, right? It changes all the fonts. Well, we may not want to do that. So let's go back here and say, well, what do we do? Uh, how do we navigate this and change only the bottom section of text without changing this larger area of text? Well, up until now, that was a bit of a problem. But as of today, with version 1.52, you can easily go and just double click on the actual element you want to highlight and modify within this grouped element here. And you can see I can now separate and change only this block of text. Maybe we'll making it maybe we'll make it smaller. I don't know. Maybe we'll change the font and see what looks good. It looks pretty good. So now I can still use this as a grouped element like you could always, but now we have more control. So hopefully you're kind of seeing the possibilities where when you want to make quick changes, uh, you can now navigate within these actual you know, grouped elements and just focus on the specific pieces that you want to modify, right? So again, a huge time saver and it just really improves the usability of the software by giving you the ability to just make those changes without making global changes to every single element within a group of elements. Hopefully that makes sense. Moving on here, the next application I'm gonna show you about is using something called nested groups, okay? Now, as you probably know, you can create a drag and drop diagram from scratch using SketchWow, or you can use one of the dozens and dozens and dozens of templates that are included. It's entirely up to you. In this example, I have created a simple you know, workflow diagram from scratch by dragging objects from the left to the right. Now, let me go and create a group with a few items here. I'm gonna use my shift key on my keyboard and I'm gonna mouse click and highlight all these elements here. I'm gonna right click, I'm gonna group them together. As you can see now, they're grouped, right? Now here's something cool that I can do as well. I can go and actually right click and select all to select all objects or I can just do the old mouse drag here and select them all. I'm gonna create another group, okay? And this is where the nested groups feature comes in. So we got this big group, as you can see here, all these things are nicely tied together. Also, we have in here this nested group we created earlier, right? 
And what I can do as well, I can resize this now and move this around. So how cool is that? So I'm actually working within a nested group inside of a larger group, right? And even I can say, well, I don't like this image. Let me erase that guy, choose new image, and away you go, okay? So it really opens up the power and flexibility and usability of how you can work with groups or nested groups utilizing Sketch Wow. And of course, as before, I can go in here and just change these fonts as well. If something looks a little bit more, you know, to my needs, and away you go. So, hope this gives you some more ideas in terms of how you can just use groups and nested groups to make really simple changes without making global changes to every single element within the group. So, I hope this gives you some ideas and makes things easier for you. And I'll see you again in the next video.